In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool effect where the numbers fall into the screen to transition from one year to the next. And as soon as you click, they will fly in and the number four will be replaced by the number five on the screen. So it's a really nice way to transition into the new year with your presentation. Now, if you want to save a lot of time and effort while making presentations in the next year, I also have a lot of templates available that you can download via the link in the description below. And for this tutorial, we're starting from Unsplash the image library. Here I'm going to type in new year and press enter. This will give us a lot of nice images. I'm going to go for orientation and change it to landscape so it fits the slide. And licenses, I want only free images. Now you can scroll down and you see there's a ton of images available that you could use with fireworks, with letters, there's cool stuff. I'm going to choose one here with the mountains and fireworks and then go to the download and choose medium. And once it's downloaded, we can jump back into PowerPoint. Here I want to drag in the image on the slide. We can close this and just increase it so it fits the entire slide. Next, we want to go to text box and drag in a text box on the screen. For the number two, make it white. For the font, I'm choosing Montserrat, drop down, and I'm choosing the sub font extra bold. I want to increase it in size so we can go to the increase set settings. And then we can see that 96 is the largest. So we can either press this increase font size button to increase it more, or we can just type it in. So for example, 210 and press enter to have an exact number. Now we want to right click format shape on the number, go to the text options, and then choose the second tab with the shadow effects. Go for shadows and then choose the offset towards the left. So if we click it, we won't see it happening immediately, but as soon as we now Ctrl C, Ctrl V to duplicate, and we paste it, or we drag it a bit to the side, we can see that the shadow nicely falls on top of the other number. Change the number to zero, hold Option, Shift and drag on the Mac, or I think it's Ctrl, Shift and drag on the Windows, and then just change the numbers until you have 2024. You can just play around with the spacings until you have a nice result. And as soon as you have what you like, we're going to I right click and duplicate the slide and on the first slide I'm going to close this I want to scroll backwards so you can always use this toggle switch or hold control and scroll backwards select the numbers hold shift to move them in a straight line and drag them outside of the screen now I'm going to hold shift and deselect and every time I deselect one letter or one number and just drag them upwards this way they nicely align and they will fly in at different speeds. If we now select the second slide, go to transitions and apply morph, we can see that they nicely fall into the screen. From the top, so they're still visible, we will change that in a second. Now we want to add the new number flying in. So I'm going to select the four, control C, control V, drag it upwards and change this to five. We're going to leave it a little bit on the slide. That doesn't matter. I want to have the push effect so they're quite close together and I'm going to press ctrl d on the slide so we have a duplicate I'll drag the four downwards and then put the five in place if you want you can just drag them off the screen but if you want to have that bit cooler effect you can just now copy the image ctrl c ctrl v I right click crop and then set the crop marks just above the numbers copy that part again place it correctly and then just crop again but now towards the bottom so we have a crop line underneath and this will hide all of the elements so if I now select here at the bottom the four will be hidden behind the layer I'm going to select those two layers and just paste them on top of the previous slides there we go maybe if you don't want it on the first one you could you could leave it out so they just fall from the sky Thing that could add for a nice effect so let's do that and make sure we have the morph applied to all slides and now preview and this is how you can create this really cool effect where first the numbers fall into the screen and then as soon as you transition to the next slide and you move on the four will fly out and the number five will fall into place to transition to the new year thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn how to do this in older versions of powerpoint i also have a tutorial available where i explain a similar concept but with the animations in powerpoint